Okay, so it's Christmas time, um, and it's the 10th of December today, and what we're going to do, because we're having a little bit of a party tonight, we're going to make some mulled wine. Um, we're going to use, I've got two bottles here of a Gallo Family Merlot, okay, two 750 milliliter bottles, and this is what's going to form the base of our mulled wine. We've got a whole load of other ingredients to add to this, but the trick to this one is, I'm doing it now in the morning, we're going to put it in a slow cooker, and by this evening, it's going to be ready for drinking. Let me show you how. So the first thing we're going to need to do, we've got our slow cooker here, we're going to whack this onto a high setting, and we're going to get our wine tipped into it. Okay, so pour both bottles of wine straight into that cooker. Okay, and then the second bottle in as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the lid on this and let this um, warm up nicely while we put the rest of the ingredients together. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is to get the juice of two lemons. Okay, so we've got ourselves a lemon juicer here and two lemons. We're going to get them juiced now. And then on top of our lemon juice, we're going to get um, one orange. We're going to get this into slices, okay? Just rough slices. Doesn't have to be perfect. So let's slice this bad boy up. And you're also going to need to grate some nutmeg as well, okay, whole nutmeg getting grated. So here at the stove, I've got a um, cooking pot here, a crock pot on the stove, and I've got 500 millilitres of water, which we're going to bring to the boil. So once our water has started to sort of warm up and it's starting to simmer a little tiny bit, we're going to get our brown sugar into there and then slowly once the brown sugar is melted and um, dissolved rather into the water we'll start adding all the other ingredients and get it simmering down brown sugar first straight in to the water you have a whisk mix that in Now the reason that I'm doing it this way um, is that I want to get all of those flavours to sort of infuse, to come out, okay, so I'm going to cook all the flavours out before we add them um, to the slow cooker and the red wine, which is now warming up nicely. So that's why I'm doing it this way, okay? Um, right, so let's carry on adding our ingredients. Right, and that's a, a lovely colour, pretty decent smell coming out of that already. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add our lemon juice, our oranges, so on and so forth. Okay, so lemon juice straight in. Let's get all of our oranges dropped in here as well. Nutmeg. Two cinnamon sticks straight into the pan. Star anise. 
our eight cloves and two bay leaves. Okay, what we're going to do now is going to add the um, vanilla pod, but what we're going to do is we're going to slice, cut this in half and slice it down the centre before we add it. Slice him open. And straight in. Okay, so beautiful. All of our ingredients are in the pot, um, simmering away. We're going to leave that now to simmer for about 10 minutes or so, so all those flavours come out and you're going to get that smell. Then we're going to add it to our wine. We can't wait. So, this has been simmering away now for 10 minutes. Um, it's been like the longest 10 minutes of my life. Can't wait to smell this stuff. Already get a sense of it coming out. I haven't even taken the lid off it yet. So let's pop the lid off. Let's get a smell. Wow, that smells absolutely glorious. So, over at the slow cooker, our wine has been in here probably for about half an hour now and it's gone quite warm, okay? So we're gonna pop the lid off it. Smells pretty good, but once that's added to it, it's going to smell fantastic. So basically all we need to do is to add the contents now of this pot into the wine. And there we are. So once that's been added, what we're going to do is just mix it all together, stir it all in. Pop our lid back on, and you can leave that overnight. Minimum 30 minutes, okay? So we're gonna let that get nice and hot now for another 30 minutes on high, and we're gonna bump it down to low, and leave it for four hours, eight hours, as long as you like. But it's gonna be ready by this evening, and we're gonna be trying it later on. Beautiful. Okay. Our mulled wine has been on warm in the slow cooker for about five hours or so now. It's ready to taste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself a glass. I'm going to check this out before everyone else arrives. Let's see what this tastes like. Okay, let's get our lid off. Get yourself a ladle. And what you want to do is ladle this out, stir it up. Be careful not to get too much fruit. Smells pretty good. Let's go and see what's on TV. Merry Christmas. Oh, beautiful. <laughs>